The Cardinals on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and nine. They'll send the tight end in motion. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. And the Giants ready to come out now. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Winston to throw. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Three yards to go on second down. Here's Winston. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And on third and inches, we're going to get a whistle and a timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now Winston. And Marshall's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 20 in picking up the first. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Winston. And he's going to find that man yet again. Brandon Marshall. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So here now is Kyle Brenza. This from long, very long range. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. 
Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Giants, it's a good fifth win for them as they play out the string. And they will head home next week to take on the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for Arizona, their playoff hopes take a big hit as they fall to 8-7. and seven. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the end.